besides thinking of the scheme and the play, when you line up, what's the mentality? What's the adjective that describes how you want to play down to down? Snap to snap. Um, I think it's just fearless, you know. Um, as as a unit, we just we really just have to uh, play fearless and. You know, I mean, mistakes are gonna happen, and believe me, we know about mistakes with the year we had last year. So, uh, we just just get out there, and it's, it's like a nothing to lose kind of feeling. Trey Scott, what's that energy like when he? Well, he's a young guy. He's mm -hmm. been in your shoes. How, how's he doing as a defensive line coach? He's. I think he's a great coach, and I think he's gonna do a lot of good things for us. Um, his energy, him being young and not too much older than us, is really good for us. And. And I think we just all oh, we just we kind of clicked as soon as he uh, as soon as he got here. Him being a young guy, and I don't know, he just brings a, he just brings a lot of energy. How does that guy walk in and win the room, the defensive line room, and make you want to play for him? Um, he's just himself. He doesn't you know try to be like a, a you know a big character kind of guy. He's just he's just himself. In talking to Coach Scott, he said we want to we want to take care of blockers and eat up blockers for linebackers, but we want to mm -hmm. finish plays ourselves. So yeah. what's 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 your attitude? in terms of being a guy that finishes plays and not just sets blocks? Um, I think, well, I, I, for me personally, I'm just, I'm just going to be where I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully other guys uh, do the same. And that's the, that's the thing about being a cohesive group, just everybody doing their job. And you know, I'll definitely make the plays that I'm supposed to make. But when it comes to making plays in other places, that just comes with being agile and being fearless and, and and not leaving your linebackers out the draw. And how is the communication with guys like Shotmer and, and you know him telling him steering you, and then you guys playing off of each other? Um, well, with him, he can he can he he can always see what what I'm doing with him, him being behind me, and um, I think that will just come with the, the with knowing how we play on specific plays and where I'm supposed to be and how fast I get there or how slow I get there. Um, he does a great job of reading off of that, and you know that's just part of him being a great leader. So the idea is on Saturdays everything's instinctual, right? But to get there, you got to do a lot of studying and thinking. Where, right. Where are you and, and the defensive line in that process to getting to where it's second nature? Well, we're getting there, but we still got a long way to go, and I think that'll come with um, doing the OTAs and stuff right now, and then in training camp where we'll have a lot of time together, and especially with the playbook and the linebackers and everybody else a part of the defense. So um, I think it'll come over time, but. We still got a long way to go, but we're not too far behind. Your speed is remarkable for a big guy. Have you always run well? Have you always known that you were quick? Yeah, I've, I've, I've always had quick feet because, I mean, I was a big basketball player. Well, I wasn't I don't, not a lot of talent, but um, I always played basketball, so I was always pretty light on my feet. And um, I did run track in high school and stuff like that. Running always been a big part of, of how I play, um, especially um, with me not being so heavy. But now, as I put on weight and stuff like that, I try to, you know, continue having that speed um, in my game. Have you lost any speed as you gain weight? Maybe a step or two, but not a lot. But uh, I mean, I put on like 50 pounds since I, since I got here, so um, that's just that's just gonna happen. But um, I pride myself in beating everybody in the runs and um, not being tired. And when somebody else is feeling tired, just to uh, pick them up. But when it's my opponent, just you know, I was I was one of I was just having that physical presence, that them knowing they're tired and I'm not, that's just a thing that I'd like to have in my mind. You do finish number one almost always with the linemen. Is that something you notice and you don't want to give that up? Yeah, yeah, that, that's just a pride factor. Um, I've always been uh, one of the fastest, but I'm not one of the strongest. So um, I think that's, that kind of just fluctuates. You know, I've always, always been a good runner, so I'm always going to win the runs. But now I'm trying to transition into being number one in the weight room. And uh, that's just the process that's a, um, that has been going on for a while now. What's your biggest accomplishment in the weight room this summer? This summer, I think it was just uh, power cleaning three blues. Um, like I said, I'm not a real strong guy. I think three blues is about 308 pounds um, on the power clean. But yeah, like I'm a, I've never been a real strong guy. I always use my speed. But um, yeah, that's that's a big thing. And um, once you get three blues on the team, they put you on the the uh, three blue uh, power clean board in the locker room. I mean, in the weight room. So I think that's been a big thing for me. What's been the mindset on the team running, lifting this summer as opposed to maybe last year? Um, I think last year people kind of had a kind of complacent attitude, but this year, um, after the year we had, everybody just wanted to improve. Uh, nobody wants to have that feeling again of going to six and seven and getting blew out by NC State and not playing good in the bowl game.
where we nobody has a good feeling about how that year ended. So everybody kind of has that bad taste in their mouth about um, what happened. So we're all working to improve and get better individually to become a better group. Coach Chizik say any one thing in a squad meeting with you guys that has stuck out in your mind when maybe he was introduced to you or after spring ball, just anything that you remember that has resonated with you? Um, I think it's inch by inch. Um, that's that's kind of our defensive motto. And, um, you know, once when he first said it, I was just, you know, like, what does that really mean? But after knowing him for a while and, and hearing it every day, inch by inch, and knowing that you can't just work, like, for the big goal. You got to do every the small things that will get you there. And uh, that's kind of what inch by inch means. And that I think that's what stuck out to me the most.